Assalamualaikum Madam Hasma. My name is Nur Hanifah Hana binti Anwar. My metric number is 20218343444. So today my group will be present about wakaf concept and its applications. So, what is wakaf? Wakaf also known as Alkaf or endowment is a concept deeply rooted in Islamic tradition and culture. It's refer to the act of dedicating a property, assets or funds for charitable purpose with the intention of benefiting society and fulfilling re religious obligations. Wakaf has a long and rich history dating back to the early days of Islam and it continues to play a significant role in Muslim communities worldwide. The concept of wakaf is based on the belief and certain assets or resources are not owned by individuals but are held in trust for the greater good. By establishing a wakaf, individuals of or organization can ensure that their wealth or resources are utilized in perpetuity to support various charitable endeavors. This can include the construction and maintenance of mosques, schools, hospitals, orphanage and other institutions that serve the welfare of the community. Wakaf asset can take various forms such as land, building, financial resources or income generating properties. The income generated from this asset is then used to fund the designated charitable activities ensuring their sustainability and long-term impact. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nurushwaida Binti Manharit. I will continue the presentation by presenting about the features of Wakaf. Wakaf, also known as endowment in English, is an Islamic legal concept that involves the dedication of a property or asset for religious, charitable, or philanthropic purposes. The primary purpose of Wakaf is to ensure the preservation and continuous benefit of the dedicated property with the intention of benefiting the community or a specific group of people. Here are some key features of Wakaf. The first feature is permanence. Wakaf is intended to be a perpetual endowment, meaning that the dedicated property is held in perpetuity and its original purpose cannot be altered or revoked. Next is religious or charitable objective, which is Wakaf is primarily established to support religious or charitable causes. This can include the maintenance of mosques, schools, hospitals, orphanage, libraries, public fountains, parks, and other social welfare projects. And we have separation of ownership and control. When a wakaf is created, the ownership of the dedicated property is transferred to the wakaf itself, which becomes a separate legal entity. The wakaf is managed by trustees or administrators who oversee its affairs and ensure that its objectives are fulfilled. Moreover, permissible beneficiaries is also one of the features of wakaf, which is, is the beneficiaries of a wakaf can be diverse and can include individuals, communities, the poor, students, students, travelers, and any other group or cause that falls within the charitable or religious objective of the wakaf. And the last feature is flexibility in assets. Wakaf can involve various types of assets including real estate, cash, investments, businesses, and movable assets. The wakif has the flexibility to dedicate any of these assets for the purpose of the wakaf. It is important to note that the specific features and regulation of Wakaf can vary across different legal systems and regions as there may be different interpretation and practices in implementing Wakaf. Assalamualaikum and a very good day I bid to Madam Hasma. Today, me, myself, Nurin Hamiza Beti Mamahata with my matrix number 20216173306 will be discussing about the Sharia principle of Wakaf. Wakaf is a sadaka jaria, recurring or ongoing donation in the Sharia, which is a voluntary benevolent donation made from one's private possessions or money in the nature of cash or property benefiting Sharia compliant purposes. A wakaf is similar to an inheritance, faith, or foundation, with the exception that it must adhere to Sharia regulations and principles. Property types that may be wakaf, which is permanence, wakaf must be formed from immovable property like lands and structures. All Islamic legal experts have agreed that 
the endowment or immovable property beneath this perpetual classification is a genuine and enforceable endowment. This validity is founded on Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions' endowment of this immortal possession as their malkuf. In addition, there is a declaration that says that save for buildings and real estate, there is no time position in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In the case of immovable property endowment, the endowment is invalid by default due to the analogy of the need of permanence, which is the main requirement in any endowment. Given that it is perishable and is difficult to ensure that this mobile item remains eternal until the end, according to Imam Shafi'i, any property that can be bought and sold can be walked off as long as the benefits gained by the beneficiary are permanent. As a result, Wakaf established from mobile property is invalid because the benefit is obtained by physically destroying the property in question such as food and drink. This is due to the fact that the physical feature of this category cannot be preserved in its original state. Rather, it must be destroyed first by its own usage such as food and drinks. Now, I will talk about comparison between Wakaf with conventional instrument. In terms of ownership and purpose, Wakaf, the end of asset is removed from the donor's possession and permanently devoted for charity purpose under Wakaf. The community's welfare and social welfare are the main goals. And in terms of conventional, conventional bank instruments on the other hand focus on financial transaction for personal gain such as earning interest or generating profit. Next, in terms of prohibition of interest which is riba, Wakaf Islami principle prohibited the charging or receiving of interest which is riba in financial transaction for conventional the majority of conventional bank instrument like loans mortgage and fixed deposit accounts include interest based transaction uh, that are prohibited in islam finance since wakaf is a charity endowment no interest based transaction take place and then in terms of ethical and social consideration Wakaf, Islamic social responsibility, justice and communal welfare are at the foundation of Wakaf. It seeks to make society requirement and advance resources distribution that is fair. For conventional instrument, conventional bank instrument are driven by profit maximization and may not necessarily prioritize social or ethical consideration. In terms of regulatory framework, Wakaf Base financial instrument are included in Islamic Bank, uh, which follows to Sharia's law and operates within a distinct regulatory structure that ensures conformity with Islamic finance principle. And for conventional, conventional banks operate within a regulatory framework governed by banks' law and regulation. And the next and the last one is in terms of asset back nature. Wakaf involves the endowment of materials goods like real estate, money or priceless things. The assets are maintained in property and the proceeds are donated to charity. For conventional, conventional bank instruments often involve monetary transaction and may not have direct asset banking. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, Madam Hasma. I am Zahid Sofia Azhar binti Muhammad Azhar. I will be explaining about the case study that I have found the, regarding this topic which is Wakaf uh, concepts and its application. Based on this case study from University of Science in Malaysia, it explains about the current Wakaf management practices by a Wakaf institution in Malaysia. For the purpose of this research, one particular Wakaf institution in Malaysia was studied, namely Wakaf Institution A. Wakaf Institution A collaborates with an Islamic bank in Malaysia to manage a cash Wakaf scheme. A joint management committee JMC has been established between the institution and the bank to oversee the management of the Wakaf fund which is monitored by a Wakaf council reporting to the state ruler. The JMC is responsible for channeling collected Wakaf funds towards Wakaf projects, providing support in education and health, and investing a portion of the Wakaf profits. The investment of Wakaf funds is handled by the Islamic Bank with 25% of investment returns allocated to Wakaf Institution A and the remaining 75% reallocated by the JMC for appropriate Wakaf activities or programs. 
the available disclosures on Wakaf performance and socio-economic impact reporting by Wakaf Institution A are limited. Specifically, under the Cash Wakaf scheme, the fourth quarter report for September to 2017 December revealed that the accumulated Cash Wakaf fund as of the December 31st, 2017 was RM 8.94 million. During that period, a total of 570,267 ringgit was collected and 740,568 ringgit was distributed. According to the above figure of this case study, Wakaf Institution A requires Wakif, those who want to donate Wakaf, to fill out a Wakaf application form, which is available both online on the institution's website and offline at their office. There are three types of Wakaf application forms, which is the first one, Wakaf Intention Form, which is also known as Borang Hasrat Wakaf. This form is for immovable Wakaf assets, such as land and buildings. It consists of one page with three sections which consists of Wakif information which is name, address, IC number and phone number. The next form is State Wakaf Share Application Form. This form is for movable Wakaf assets, specifically cash or checks. It is a one-page brochure form that requires the Wakif name, representative name, IC number, address, phone number, number of Wakaf shares which is in unit and RM and signature with the date. Moreover, the third application form is Wakaf Has or Special Application Form. This form is for the registration of Wakaf Has projects. It consists of two pages and requires the following information which name of the Wakaf Has project, pr purpose of creating the Wakaf Has project and name of the head of the Wakaf. Thank you. The primary objective of Wakaf is to benefit society by providing ongoing support to specific causes of organizations. It can involve the endowment of assets such as land, buildings, financial resources or even income generating properties. The revenue generated from the Wakaf asset is typically utilized for charitable activities including the operations and maintenance of most schools, hospitals, orphanage, libraries and other social services. In conclusion, Wakaf is a cornerstone of Islamic philanthropy and social responsibility. It has historically been instrumental in supporting various charitable causes and has contributed to the overall welfare and development of societies. The practice of Wakaf continues to be a relevant today with ongoing efforts to revitalize and modernize its mechanism, making it a sustainable means of addressing societal needs and promoting the common good.